Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rain to episode 7 of Beastars. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Ugh, oh, it's a little weird to watch this first, but. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, that's okay. Okay. So we're gonna see a pig. Everything <laughs> Why on Wednesdays, though? Okay. <laughs> so I'm guessing we have to make them be very exact and intact. Okay. You might make good money on that too. I might think that you like how much you get paid you <laughs> to way of life. Is it weird that I want some eggs now? <laughs> Maybe I'll make some hard boiled eggs after this because I'm hungry. I haven't eaten yet. <laughs> no eggs today? Because it is. Yeah! <laughs> no eggs today! Excuse me! Oh, <laughs> I mean, hold up, but think about it. As someone who drinks water a lot, and you drink, oh my god, are you? <laughs> you can always taste the difference of different waters and how some of them don't taste right. And such. I know, same thing about when you drink a certain soda, and then you haven't drunk it like in a while. It's okay, you'll do better on the next batch. That's why they don't taste better. See, it's the koalas. <laughs> oh my god! They still taste good, but she's selling them on a different day. You know, you could just go ahead and tell them, like, hey, you know that egg sandwich that you like a lot? Go to it over. Oh, no, you bought some. <laughs> that was a cute little opening before it actually started. Oh my god. Like, come on, man. That was so fucking sweet. 
But honestly, you make me want like a hard boiled egg or like an egg salad sandwich because I um, mean, for us, eggs are good. Yeah, no, I'm messed up. I'm probably gonna eat your hard boiled egg or egg salad sandwich. I think I have, I would have eggs. I think we have rice. I want to say yes and I want to say no because we used it to make macaroni salad. I don't know. We'll find out in like 20 something minutes from now. It's so weird to watch this at like 1, almost one thirty in the afternoon because it's usually the last thing I watch. But I'm glad. If these two aren't hanging out today, we're gonna have a problem. Even though he shouldn't be around her, I need him to interact with Haru. Like, my God, this is episode seven. Where's she at? Mm. I'm just saying. Oh, oh. This might be a horror lecture of the nacho. So basically, she feels like she's drowning. And that when she's with him or with any type of guy, she feels alive. Because he has things that, you know, he's barely really talked about himself, and I want him to talk about his feelings. Yeah, he's like, I'm not going to talk about my feelings. I'm not going to talk about my feelings. I'm not to talk about my feelings. I'm not going 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 to talk about
Mm. Why do I feel like? Yeah, don't put the jealous card up. Mm -mm. Yeah, 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 it's complicated. Yeah, girl. Mm hmm. Yes, yes, we all knew it was going to happen. I gotta say, Louise, your what's his face from um, the freaking Handsomest Man anime is coming out. The character that you played in that anime, he is coming out so much. Your dominant side, I like it so but. Uh -huh. No, he's not sleeping behind. Mm. They really just talk. He smells hard on him. Yeah, he, he's so hard on him, right? And more fuck buddies. Oh. Yeah, because honestly, I think Juno likes you, bruh. Well, she is pretty. She's gorgeous. I guess, like, I understand that she would get bullied for her looks. Yeah, you may want to. <laughs> I just want to know who voices you know. Her voice is a little fake, like similar to me. If she's voiced by Sarami, I'm going to die, but I don't think it's her. But the more I hear it, like. No, that is her. Oh my god. <laughs> that is the favorite voice actress. She's so cute. Oh my god.
she's so freaking cute. Oh my god. <laughs> See, this is your clue. My son, my boy. I ain't gonna say school Haru, but yeah, forget Haru and just say Juno. Boy, I swear. <laughs> My son is so unnatural, but that's okay. He, 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 he is not interested in girls right now. In a way, he kind of is, but... <laughs> oh, my God! What's wrong? What did you find now? What did you find? <laughs> just just go out and say it, Jack. Why you got a rabbit porno magazine? <laughs> <sighs> yeah, whether you want to meet her or whether you want to be in a relationship with her. Yeah, apples and oranges. It's more. I don't want to say less. I think that's more of like Louise in a way in their relationship, but for him, it's more of hunger because he. It, there's points and times where he sees her as a male and then he sees her as a friend, but it's just like a. You never know what it could be sometimes. It's a little bit of both. It's to me. There's times where I feel like when he's around Haru, he doesn't truly know how to feel around her. I mean, cause like <laughs> the way he was around Juno, that's just like you know a regular boy who ain't in love and who's not interested in it. But when he's truly around Haru, it is something different. He somewhat seems like a boy who is in love or a character. Oh. Relax, you're fine. Yeah. Mm. Mm -mm. At least you tried. Not really, but for you, yes.
honestly, you would think he, I mean, is he going to do something? I mean, he's just walking around and really just making sure everything's okay. Is he going towards Haru? Yep. Then we're friends. Mm -hmm. Finally, I mean, goddamn, it's just, you, you have that jealousy, what were you guys in too, especially when you guys back in this episode, but I'm glad that he can finally, after several episodes, say and admit to himself that he is in love with Haru, because he does feel a certain type of way, but I mean, I understand that, because like, especially whether it is your first crush, or it's your whatever question or whatever relationship, honey relationship he's been you've been in. You know that feeling. But because of the fact is it is his first time, he, you know, sits there and he kinda like, no, it feels like this. It feels like this. One one uh one way it could go like this. One way it could be like this, and the next way it could be like something else. And you know, it, it's kinda like he was hesitating or playing with himself or denying the fact that he truly really had those feelings that it was more of nothing but hunger and even with the panda saying hey you need to stay away from her you can see that he doesn't want to he really truly wants to be beside her whether in the end haru is like i just want to be friends or possibly go into something else like into a relationship possibly even marriage these kids are only in like i'm high school college i'm guessing i think it's more of high school but the way like that classroom looks it looks more like a college class to me so it's a little bit of both in a way but i, I don't know i mean it's like honestly in my opinion who do i like her better with louise our freaking legacy in my opinion right now it's a little bit of Lu not louise legacy because she feels, even though, like, when she's around Louise, she feels more herself. She feels more, um, no, let me tell you the fact, she doesn't feel more herself. She feels more vulnerable, in control, even though she's drowning. But when she's around, um, Legacy, she can drop that all and just be a normal bunny girl. That's it. And I feel like, to me, she's more happier with, uh, Legacy than she is with Louise. Like, she seems happy with him. But the thing is, at the end of the day, for both of them, for both uh, Haru and Louise, it's just sex. But I felt like at the same time, one of them, and my money, is on Louise, not essentially Haru. Louise is going to possibly, it could, and it could have possibly already happened with the fact is that they've known each other for a while now, and they've been doing this for a while. One of them is going to catch feelings. And like I said, my money's on the, uh, Louise. I feel like Haru... Any, any guy that she typically sleeps with, she I don't think she sees it as, like, a conquest. She could possibly, but it's just one of those little, like, one of, like, many things that she's, like, going in her past and how she's doing it. But I felt like, even though, yeah, the point where she was, like, taking her clothes off and fed a legacy, like, several episodes ago, and the fact is that he didn't want that, I think, truly, that's when she's like, okay, yeah. He's not the type of guy who immediately just uh, wants to have sex with me. He's the type of guy who's like, he really wants a relationship. And I don't think she wants to be known as the girl who does sleep around. Even though, yes, like, there's so many people at the school, like, anytime they look at her, they're like, oh, hey, that's the girl that flirted or really did something with um, the black and white bunny and such. But I just want her no matter what, to be happy. Because she deserves, like, everything. She deserves the world. Now, Juno, on the other hand, if I think that is my favorite voice actress, but I ain't gonna know until I look it up. Juno is head over heels in love with Legacy, and you can see that in this episode. But 
because Legacy is so blinded at that time and now officially he knows that he's in love with Haru, Juno doesn't really stand a chance. So either one of two ways could play out. Like eventually she's going to possibly figure out that um, Legacy is in love with Haru. So there's going to be maybe a point, even after maybe this episode, she's probably going to back off of him and possibly find someone new. But like they did look good together. Like don't get me wrong. I mean, every girl, including myself, because even though I'm a woman, has done it with a guy that they've like literally um, had a crush on. They've always imagined like how good you look together with him or her, whoever, same sex, of uh, opposite sex, whatever. It depends on like your sexuality and everything. But I mean, like, <laughs> the, the guy who I was in a past relationship with, like, not that while ago, I did imagine stuff. We've all done it. I don't think there's guys who have done it as well. But, um, uh, uh, well, no. They, guys, they really kind of imagine being some being with someone in a relationship when it's truly at that peak where they really are in love with somebody and they can see them being married to that person, like, for so many years and stuff. But, I don't know. I mean, do I feel like, once Juno finds out she's going to try to move on to somebody else, yes. I feel like if it's going to be a back and forth between Legacy and Louise, like, every single episode, and that tension between the two is just, like, like bam. Like, I feel like so they're going to fight. They're going to fight. Don't know when, don't know how, but they're going to fight. And I'm just going to be over here like, ah, yeah. Um, But I don't know why, and I kind of was thinking about this, even when he was patting Haru's head. I feel like if Haru says no to, no to Louise, Maybe Juno might come in or somebody else who is, well, I mean, because, you know, he has so many fucking fangirls and I feel like Juno isn't really that type of girl who's like, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I like, you know, I, I'm head over heels with him. But if Harris is known to Louise, he'll find somebody else in his own special way. Maybe not, you know, however far this manga is currently, maybe later on in the future. But there, if she says no, I don't know if she has. The people who've read this manga, y'all know. I don't know anything. Um, he's possibly going to either move on from it or he's still going to be that type of character who is like, I'm not taking no for an answer. And I don't want him to essentially, and it feels like he already has in a weird way, but I would say it's more of legacy, becoming ex obsessed with her in a way. Both of them in a way. I I'm not 100% sure, but this the way they both acted that's what it seems like to me. The slowly but surely, one or the other is becoming a little more obsessive than the other. So, but like in my opinion, yeah, there's going to be a point where he might not accept no for an answer. But we ain't going to know until later on. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to Beatrice episode seven of Beast Stars. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. I literally almost made a thirty minute video. <laughs> Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And of course, I will see you guys, especially y'all, <laughs> next Saturday for episode 8. Bye, guys.